First come to the game Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm trying with V2.9. Is the old one bad? LSFG 2.1. DXD API. Let's see the results. With V2.9, your FPS will be limited by monitor refresh rate, minus 60. The game is very smooth, I don't notice input lag issues. The flickering problem is negligible, only in the area of Arthur's head and not with much frequency. With V2.9 flickering problem is less. The frequency of flickering depends on the background scene, if it's as simple as the sky, flickering is no longer a problem. With normal gameplay operations, you will be less affected by it. Now try with V2.1 no.1. With the same settings as the previous test. In terms of smoothness, V2.10.1 always does very well. But it has been noticed that the flickering problem has increased. Flickering is stronger and more frequent than V2.9. You can call it tearing, even though loud tearing in the lossless settings is turned off. It's easy to see that V2.10.1 has more flickering issues. In terms of smoothness, it can be said that V2.9 and N2.10, one are the same. Try a bit with allow tearing on. The flickering problem seems to be the same when a Latin is OFF.
try with buy three mode. With a 60 Hz monitor, I didn't notice a difference in smoothness compared to buy two mode allow tearing on. The flickering problem is similar to buy two mode. Coming to the game Cyberpunk 2077, I will try with Lossless V2.9 first. LSFG 2.1 NAND by 2 mode. In first-person mode, there may be a slight flicker in the gun barrel. At normal speeds, it doesn't matter much. Not sure how I feel, but there seems to be a bit of input lag, just a bit. When naming, there are no image problems. Try with third person mode. There is a problem with character flickering tearing. At normal speeds, it's not too bad. Driving and playing normally not for testing, it's fine. With other options like allow tearing, X3 mode there is not much difference with V2.9, so I switch to testing with V2.10.1. Lossless V2.1 no.1. LSFG 2.2. DXGI With default mod vsync OFF and allow tearing OFF the game is not really smooth, while there is still flickering problem. So I'll turn on allow tearing.
Now the game is really smooth. There is still the issue of flickering in the barrel. Now I think it should be called tearing lol. When naming it also flickers a bit, it seems the flickering problem will be a bit more than B2.9. About the third person perspective. Same problem with V2.9. At normal speeds, you will still see, when you move the camera at a fast speed. But when driving and playing normally, you will feel less flickering problem. Additionally, by 3 mode works very well with allow tearing. The flickering problem seems similar with by 2 mode, but you get more FPS. The smoothness is great, I appreciate the smoothness v to dot 10 dot 1 brings. So for the game Cyberpunk 2077 my advice is that you should use lossless v to dot 10 dot 1 because it's smoother than v2.9 while the flickering problem only increased a little. In reality, doesn't affect your game experience much. <laughs> Try more with Sekiro. Lossless V2.9 I will show you that, in some cases, V2.9 is a more balanced solution than V2.10.1 which is to say better. The game is smooth enough at 60 FPS from lossless. With less flickering issues.
And this is with lossless V2.10, one I'm hitting 80 FPS from 40 native FPS allowed tearing on. Easily notice more flicker even at normal speeds. It's easy to see that V2.9 is better. So in the case of this game, lossless V2.9 is a more balanced solution, smooth enough, with less image problems.